Hi, my name is Glenn. In this video, we're going to solve for x and y in this equation, 54x plus 21y equals 3. Now, this is a bit confusing because we don't normally solve for two variables in a single equation. However, if you treat this as a special equation called the linear Diophantine equation, then there is a way to solve for x and y. So let's start. A linear Diophantine equation in two variables x and y is of the form ax plus by equals c, where a and b and c are all elements of the integers for which we seek integer solutions. So in this example, 54x plus 21y equals 3. A value is 54, b value is 21, c value is 3. Note that all of these three are integers. And since we are treating this as a linear Diophantine equation, the x and y solution should also be integers. Now, there is this special theorem called Bezout's identity, which states that the greatest common divisor, or GCD, of two integers a and b can be represented as a linear sum of the original two numbers a and b. In other words, it is always possible to find integers x and y such that the GCD of a and b is equal to ax plus by. So let's start with the solution. 54x plus 21y equals 3. We now treat this as a linear Diophantine equation such that the solutions x and y are both integers. And also we have the beautiful identity, Bessout's identity, that if we take the greatest common divisor of a and b, this is now equal to ax plus by. So we go to the solution. Now to start with this, we have to work on the GCD of 54 and 21, which is our a and b. To do this, it's always best to use Euclidean algorithm, where we make use of the division algorithm a equals b multiplied to q as the quotient plus r as the remainder. So this will be 54 is equal now to b, which is 21. Now the quotient of 54 and 21 would be 2, and its remainder would be 12. In this Euclidean algorithm, we will now keep on utilizing this division algorithm until we end up with the R value of 0. So we focus on 21 and 12, treating this as our new A and B. So this is now equal to 21 is equal to 12. And if you divide 21 by 12, you get a quotient of 1 and a remainder of 9. We focus again on 12 and 9, treating this as our A and B. So this is 12 is equal to 9. When you divide 12 by 9, you have 1 as the quotient and a remainder of 3. We keep pushing until we end up with a 0 remainder. So we focus on 9 and 3. So this is 9 is equal to 3. And then if you divide 9 by 3, you get a quotient of 3. And a remainder of zero. So there you go. This is now the complete Euclidean algorithm where we end up with a zero remainder. So if that's the case, then the GCD of these numbers 54 and 21 is now equal to this value here, 3. It's the remainder before the zero remainder. Now notice that the GCD is exactly the value of the right side of this equation. So we can then conclude that the GCD of 54 and 21, which is 3, is exactly equivalent to 54x plus 21y. Now the question is, what is then now the value of x and y? To solve for that, we now take the reverse order of equation of this Euclidean algorithm. So we start with this equation. So this is now the GCD of 54 and 21, which is 3. That would be our left side. It's now equal to, we define 3 such that 3 is now equal to 12 minus 9. So that's 12 minus 9. And then the next order is this one. 
meaning we define 9 as 21 minus 12. So we put it in this equation. So we have 3 is equal to 12, and 9 is defined as 21 minus 12. We can simplify this by distributing the negative sign. So we have 12 minus 21 plus 12. We can factor out 12. So this is equals 3 is now equal to 12. We factor that out and we have 1 and 1. So that becomes 2. Then followed by a minus 21. And then the last order of equation we define 12 as 54 minus 21 times 2 and then put that definition in this equation. So we have 3 is equal to 12 is defined now as 54 minus 21 times 2. That is 12 which is multiplied by 2 so that's times 2 and then a minus 21. Distribute 2 in this group so we have 3 is equal to 54 times 2 then minus 21, and then 2 times 2 is 4, followed by a negative 21. The goal for this is to come up with this equation 54x plus 21y. So we already have 54 and 21. We just need to make it exactly like this. So we have 3 is equal to 54 multiplied to 2. And then this is a positive sign, so we make use of a plus sign there followed by 21 and then you have a negative 4 and a negative 1 so that's minus 5. So this is our C value, this is our A value, X value plus B value and then this is our Y value. So therefore our X value is equal to 2 and then our Y value is equal to negative 5. So if you treat this as a linear Diophantine equation and you look for the GCD of A and B, which is 54 and 21, applying a Euclidean algorithm to arrive at that GCD and then utilizing the Bessout's identity, reversing the order of equation of the Euclidean algorithm, then you now have the solutions for X and Y. So if you find this helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.